I don't think I have a head foundation like this. This is like freaking spackle. Look at this. <laughs> it's insane. Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elena. I'm your Russian American beauty and makeup addict. I love reviewing and doing tutorials of inexpensive affordable makeup from Aliexpress, Amazon, drugstore, dollar store, you name it, I'll be a guinea pig and I'll pass the savings to you guys. In this video, I'm going to be doing another comparison of the real thing versus the fake. And we're going to be comparing Dermacol, which I finally ordered, that's the real one, uh, from Dermacol USA. And we're going to see what it looks like compared to a cheap Aliexpress fake version. So if you guys are interested in keeping watching, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. Upload every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and leave me a comment below. Let's get right into this video. So let's get into this information. So I got the real Dermacol a few days ago. The shipping was very fast. Um, it was $15, the regular price on Dermacol USA. And the shipping is $5.50, so it came up to $20.50. So you could have gotten it on Amazon for lower, but Amazon has kind of mixed reviews. Some people said, it was not real uh, product. So the advantage is when you order from real Dermacol, you get all kind of stuff from them. So it came in this envelope like this, has kind of information cards about how to apply, I think. And on top of all of that, they send me a bunch of free samples. I literally like, have no room in both hands. Look at all of that. I mean, of course, they want me to buy something else from them because it seems like they have other pro uh, products. Collagen, acne uh, medication kind of things to clear acne. Uh, some more matte control something. Uh, this one is a perfecting foundation, another foundation. Makeup, 24 hour... There's a lot of different other foundations they have, seems like it. Hyaluronic therapy, rejuvenation, caviar, night cream. I mean, you just name it. Makeup corrector, that's probably uh, some kind of concealer. Moisturizing cream. I mean, you name it. The stuff they sent you, I was shocked. I'm like, wow, that's a lot of free samples. So. I haven't touched any of them, I'm just going to go through all of them and try it all. So now I'm kind of excited. So that's what you get with quality. The box looks literally exactly the same as a dupe. So this is a dupe. So I think I opened the dupe from the wrong side. But anyway, here's the pink side. And here's the, the other side, the black. It looks the same. It's slightly different uh, type of pink. The original one is more like a light. And the fake one is like brighter. But other than that, it's literally the same. I'm just shocked. It's down to everything that's written on the bottom. Except the real one says 1110A. And this one 1110, whatever that means. That's what the color you see. That's a lot different. Other than that, it's very, pretty much the same, slightly different tone. So inside it looks the same as well. Has exact same insert with information. Well, obviously they copied it. And here's the tube. The tube looks pretty much the same. I mean, even the texture, how it feels. is very similar. You can see the differences. The cap is a little different. That's a fake. And that's a real. Seems like the fake one slightly different tone of gold. But this is like a very, very subtle difference. As if you don't know what that is, you might think it's a real thing. Of course, it was cheap from Aliexpress. So let me put this aside so I don't get confused. And let's start the application. So this one, I don't have any primer on. 
I just have moisturizer on. I just wanted to see how it looks like without any primer. So the real thing has not been opened yet, so I'm going to put it on the right. And the fake one, it's terrible, but I guess I'll have to put it in my face again. <laughs> so it's sealed just like the fake one. So let's break the seal. Okay, so I got the same color. Although with the fake one, the color was off. The color is way too light, but uh, just for the purpose of testing, because this is a light skin tone, I'm light skin tone. So it should work, unless it's fake, right? So let's see. Oh, wow. The difference is like day and night. The texture, look at that. It's thick. The fake one from AliExpress was, literally was running. It was like a moisturizer. Let me zoom in. So you can tell the difference immediately. So let me dip my sponge in. Ooh, wow. It's kind of a moussey kind of texture. Oh, wow. Now they're talking, wow. I don't think I ever had foundation like this. This is like freaking spackle. Look at this. <laughs> it's insane. This might spread to the full face. I think I squeezed way too much out. And it's kind of is too light. Yeah, it's just hard to pick online, but I wanted to taste this test the same color as the fake one. Wow. Okay, no doubt the fake one was fake, the house was bad. I've never seen foundation like this. This is full coverage to the point of like insanity. It's crazy. I don't know if I need all that coverage, but there it is. This definitely will cover anything you have, any scars, tattoos, anything. It's thick, like crazily thick. So let me put a little bit of fake one on the other side. I'm probably gonna put the real one over it because this is so bad. <laughs> There's no comparison. Look, it's even like flowing outside already. It's runny, like liquidy. So let me put the other side of the sponge. And I'll put some on uh, this cheek just to see. So you can see what's going on. Yeah, the color of the fake one, I think, is even lighter. But both of them kind of too light. It's weird. I'm not a medium, but for some reason light didn't work for me. See, that's the fake one. That's the real. And that's a fake. Real. Fake. So the kind of fake one is even lighter. So let's see. I'll put it right here. So here's the fake one. It blends out into like almost no coverage. And the real one is like literally covers everything. It's insane how much it covers. I'm just gonna go over the rest of my face with the real one because there is no point in comparison. If you want to watch my uh, review of AliExpress uh, Dermacol, I'm going to put up the card because I'm not putting one side and the other side. It's clearly horrible. <laughs> so let me just finish the application of the real one and I'll be back. Okay, so I finished uh, the application all over my face. I didn't even bother comparing one and the other. It's clearly the other one is almost like a BB cream. And this one creates literally a mask. I didn't even put extra concealer under my eyes, I just put that. It's amazing. It's almost like too much. I think I could use this as under eye concealer because otherwise it kind of... First of all, why is the second time around I pick a shade in a light category and it comes out like a fair skin tone? And the next level up I looked it was medium and I kind of thought I was light, not medium. <laughs> but I guess I'm medium. It's slightly lighter. When I put bronzer on, it's gonna be okay. But of course, the coverage is amazing. If you guys are uh, having any issues with the acne or scars, I believe it says covers tattoo, and I wouldn't be surprised. I don't have any tattoos, but it covers literally every little dot in your face, every mark, every spot. I have a birthmark here and covered it completely. Wow, <laughs> it's just crazy. So let me set the foundation and see what it looks like set. I'll be back. So I finished uh, powdering. I used uh, Maybelline Fit Me 
for under eyes and I use just a Cody powder for the full face. So here it is. Very pale. Again, the shade is uh, in the light range. I'm light, but the sh I feel like I'm a medium. Oh well. So it looks nice. Uh, it was very dewy before I powdered it. Uh, it's very creamy. It's very dewy. It's very uh, kind of thick and creamy. So it does not uh, dry on matte. Maybe I didn't wait long enough, but it didn't seem like it was going to dry matte. It was mostly like a very, very creamy, very oily. Uh, so I think the oily skin might not like it. I set it and it still kind of feels kind of radiant. It's not a bad thing, but it's very, very thick. Like for my taste, it's a little bit like a crazy doll face thick. But it does cover, so that if that's your goal, it definitely does it. And to me, like... You, a, long, a small piece goes a long way. I squeezed way too much. Probably like a pea size would be enough for the full face. And if you get it in a sh correct shade, <laughs> it's going to work better. So I'm really impressed. Let me finish my makeup and I'll be back with my thoughts. So this is 5.30 now, 5.30 p.m. And next check-in with a makeup on. So here it is, all set and finished. And it's 5.52, so I took my sweet time about, yeah, serious trying to talk. <laughs> 5.52. So I took about like 25-ish minutes, and so far so good. It looks nice. It looks kind of still very dewy. I did not even spray, uh, setting spray, because it felt kind of greasy-ish. And my dewy setting sprays are so dewy, so I kind of want to see on its own just set with the powders on it kind of looks a little cakey to me just a little bit some spots on the forehead i probably could have used less of it maybe i just piled too much on but i see it could start falling to cracks because i already can see it kind of breaking up here not a lot but just a little bit it kind of starts to fall into small lines because of such a thick product as cream uh, with so much pigmentation, most likely it's gonna look, kind of look funky. But if you probably set it more and use less, it probably could have been better. <laughs> it's probably user's fault. But anyway, I'm going to wear it for like a couple of hours. See? That's the finish. So probably take it out for a walk and then I'll be back to check in in an hour or so before dinner. And yes, I'm still wearing the hair extensions that I put on. I did not style them yet. They're kind of like, eh, looking. <laughs> My hair is very thick now. That's after the Monday video. I still like them, but it's kind of heavy. Like, I feel them, you know? They're not heavy, but like, I know that they're there. So, I don't know if I'm the right person to wear extensions. Wouldn't work out so much every day. So, I might have to remove them just... Uh, Kind of irritating <laughs> anyway I'll be back for the second check-in so I'm back my husband and I went for a short walk and it didn't take much to for it to pull, go into the lines uh, we went for a walk I was kind of laughing you know you laugh you know and make a falls into lines so let's see what happens as you can see fell into lines here kind of here broke apart all here and my nose doesn't look that bad like in between my eyebrows under the eyes it did crack as well and I had a feeling it was gonna happen overall it kind of still looks pretty in two without the spray so I don't mind that but it's very thick see so when something is that thick chances are it could fall into lines if I use the right primer, blurring matte primer, and probably put more, more powder over, it would have looked better longer. But for me, since I don't need much coverage, it's just overkill. So I don't need that. For somebody with acne, scars, or any tattoos, or uh, any skin problems, that would be a, a lifesaver. It would be great if you just use the right amount, not too much, and use good primer I think that's a great solution 
So I would say definitely worth buying if that's what you're looking for. Like extremely, extremely high coverage. I've never experienced anything like this before. So no wonder it says it made with the movies. So uh, it's very high coverage. Of course, the difference between AliExpress, cheap crap, and the original is like a night and day. This actually, I like uh, the fake one. <laughs> I like a little better on my skin because it's lightweight and barely has any coverage, but it feels lighter and it doesn't crease as much. This one, however, is real deal. For $15, you get one ounce, uh, 30 grams, and it works amazing. So if you guys need coverage again, go get it. With Thermocol USA, I'm going to link down below. Uh, the shipping, shipping was very quick, and the price is right, I think, for this kind of product. Although it's like on a high end than just a regular drugstore, but it's totally worth it if you need coverage. And they give you so many free samples. You know, it's just this is just like a little bit of everything I got. So excellent custom service, excellent shipping, excellent everything. Big thumbs up for Dermacol. So if you guys are interested, then go to the link below and go subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and comment below what you think. Do you have it? Have you tried Dermacol or the tube? <laughs> the tube wasn't worth it, as I said. So this is it for this video. I'll see you guys in my next video and thank you for watching. Bye!